What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Kenny King K. I'm back with another video. It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way you stare. Today, I'm going to be doing a hair treatment. Basically, I'm going to be showing you guys my at-home um, hair mask that I pretty much make. Um, and I'm going to be putting that on my head, letting it sit for a little bit, and then rinse it out, wash my hair, and do a protective style. I'm not going to do the protective style and all that on camera, but I am going to be showing you guys the um treatment that i do and i do this about probably once a month i'm going to be showing you guys the products that i use and that i put in to the treatment and then we're going to get straight to it this is what my hair is looking like i can show you guys i haven't been doing much of anything to it uh my last style i did have braids took them out and then i've just been wearing it in like a low ponytail a low bun in the back or maybe I would do like two ponytails um, but not really a style I haven't had like a style in like two months I had braids two months ago um, so now it's about that time where I do my treatment I'm also gonna be clipping my ends um, but yeah let's get into the video anyway, I am 24 weeks 24 weeks yes yes so just to show you the um, ingredients so what i did was i got an avocado and i cut it in half and i'm going to be chopping this up and putting this in the blender i also got some mayonnaise mayonnaise is really good because it has a lot of oils in it um that could pretty much moisturize your hair so that's really good to put inside of your treatment honey and two eggs. Usually I would add a aloe vera plant, but unfortunately I don't have one of those coconut oil hair food. So let's get started. Now, this thing right here, never mind. Okay. Good hair So as you can see, my hair is very dull, very dry. My curls are not 
enhanced so it is definitely time for a treatment guys alrighty guys so I got the mixture made right here I got a comb I like to use a comb that has a tail on it just because it's easier for parting I got a plastic whole line bag I know this is ghetto but <laughs> I don't have any of the plastic shower cap so that's what we're going with today so what I like to do is I'm gonna part my hair in four different sections so down the middle and listen I know my parting ain't perfect but it don't matter part it in four sections I colored my hair so I had a little brown, you can see all the new growth coming in. Clips to work with so we can section this hair off and get it done. I like to put it on the new growth, make sure it get to my roots to penetrate. I'm gonna piece off. Trying to show y'all the best way I can. Now we're going to just leave this. Um, I want to go through my whole head and try to do the roots. Uh, mostly this area closest to my scalp. And then whatever I have left over is going to go on my ends and then I'm just going to comb it all through. So I'm going to just give y'all a little update. Yes, I am pregnant. I'm having a baby. I'm having a little king. And... He's really just gonna be like the light of my life. I've just been going through so many changes recently and I don't know, people look at things differently, but this is definitely, I feel like a blessing for me. I'm gonna have like a, a little best friend. A lifelong best friend now. He is actually due on my freaking dad's birthday <laughs> in January. <laughs> It's so crazy. I'm having a Capricorn. My mom's a Capricorn. My dad's a Capricorn. And my baby daddy's a Capricorn. So it was destined anyway. Words can't even explain. Like, I'm just happy, guys. That's what it all boils down to, happiness. This pregnancy was not planned at all, okay? I wouldn't say if I could go back in time, I would change anything because I'm not that type of person. I think things happen for a reason. So I look at everything as like blessings, even though you might not think it was time for something to happen in your life. God does things for a reason. I'm sure there's a, a bigger lesson he's going to be teaching me out of this whole situation anyway. So I'm working on this back section right here now. God said, it's your time. So, it's my time. <laughs> At first, I'm not even going to lie, y'all. I had a whole mental breakdown. Like, I was just everywhere, honestly. The first person to know was my little sister. Me and my little sister are like, she's just my everything. She's like my best friend. She's only two years younger than me. We tell each other everything. Like our bond is so strong and it always has been our entire lives. But of course, she's the first person that knew. How I found out was I have been thinking that I was pregnant the whole time anyways. Like I just, something told me that I was pregnant. I was getting all the, all the signs that I was pregnant. Um, I just didn't want to face them because I was super scared. 
Um, but I, I kind of knew the whole time that I was um, just by how my body was acting. I came over to my mom's house um, to get my hair braided because my sister braids hair. I had got in a job offer and I was going to be traveling doing work. You know, me and her had already talked about it and she was like, she always would tell me, you need to take a test. You need to take a test. You need to take a test. And I was like, I'm not taking a test. Like I'm not pregnant at all. I'm not doing it. I don't want to come to terms with it. That's literally what I said. I said, I don't want to come to terms with it. Before she started braiding my hair, uh, she got uh, two pregnancy tests and she pretty much forced me to take them. When I tell y'all I love this girl so much, she literally keeps me grounded in, in all, every way possible. I would literally go to my sister for anything and it's vice versa. Like she knows she could come to me for anything. Uh, we have things that we would never, we would take to the grave because that's just how our bond is. And it's good to have that type of bond with your siblings. Trust me. She go get two pregnancy tests and she's like, I'm not doing your hair until you pretty much take these pregnancy tests. And mind you, I'm nervous. My mom, nobody's at the house except for me and my sister. And I'm 22 years old, y'all. Like, I'm a grown woman. So, you might like, why are you, why are you scared? You're a grown woman. But it's just like, I'm not where I financially um, and mentally where I want to be yet. So, I don't think me bringing a child in this world is such a good thing. And I don't think the people around me would be happy about it. My plan was always to have things together before I... Uh, have a kid I wanted to be married for sure so I took one it's like pee on it and then you have to wait like 15 minutes for it to like you know give you your results y'all when I tell you I took the test it immediately immediately like not 15 minutes as soon as I peed on the stick line line I said I said, no way, no freaking way. I, like it can't be a false test if it's moving this fast now. So I was like, okay, wait a minute. I told my sister, I, I caught her in there. I was just shocked. Like my face was just shocked. I said, let me just take another one. Cause this one actually was moving too fast. It took the second one and <laughs> it didn't even take 15 minutes again. It did it. And I was just so like scared. My mom was at work. I think she, yeah, she was at work and she was supposed to be coming anytime now, any freaking time. So we're sitting there, we're waiting on her to come. And I was like, Shantae, Shantae, Shantae. That's my sister's name. I was like, Shantae, I do not want her to know because I don't know what I want to do yet. And by that, I'm going to be honest, I meant like, I don't know if I want to keep my baby or not because I was just in a, a crazy place. I was like, I don't know what I wanna do. Like, I'm so scared. Like, this is why I say she's so amazing. Like, my sister is like, oh, I can't even put it in, in words. Pretty much I knew I was pregnant. It's confirmed. It's been about 10, 15 minutes. I'm smiling, walking around. She's doing my hair. And I'm just like, she only did probably like a couple of braids, but, um. I'm smiling. I'm like, you know, whatever. Like, who cares? Then out of nowhere, I was like, I need, like, I went and sat down at the kitchen table. And she was like, she came and she sat down with me. And she was like, how do you feel? And uh, we started talking about, like, um, my mom and my stepdad's reaction. I don't know if it was like a trigger for me or not. This is the honest truth. I was like, I'm really scared to tell um, mom. But for some reason, like I want to tell my stepdad. And then as soon as I said that, it was just like a trigger in me. And then I just started going, like I was crying like crazy, like crazy, crazy, uncontrollable crying. And she was just like, 
relax, relax, you're fine, you're gonna be okay, there's nothing wrong with it. So I done put it on my whole, all my, my roots and stuff. Now I'm going back in and just putting it on the ends of my hair and combing it through. So she was like, you're gonna be fine, like, don't cry. She gave me a hug. And when I tell y'all I needed that hug, like, <laughs> I really needed that hug. Um, but she just gave me a hug and she was like, it's fine, like, don't cry. She was like, you don't have to tell anybody, like, at all. Like, you don't have to tell, you literally just found out 10 minutes ago. You don't have to tell the world. Like, take your time. Don't try to think too far ahead. Um, everything's going to be okay. And then she just gave me a hug. We probably hugged for, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> And I'm just crying on her shoulder and she's just letting me cry and she's just being there for me and it was just a moment that I really needed mind you guys I told you my mom is on the way home um so we started working on my hair I calmed myself down um I ended up calling my boyfriend I told him that I was um pregnant and then I started crying again and he was just like, it's all right. Like, what are you crying for? Um, and then we just had a, a talk. Um, and he was saying the same thing my sister was saying, pretty much like, relax. Like, you don't have to worry about telling everybody right now if you don't want to. Um, he was like, you could definitely take your time with everything. Um, and he was just there for me as well, mentally. Um, he said encouraging things and we just had a good conversation um and then that was pretty much it i like wiped my tears and stopped crying i went and sat down let my sister start my head and boom my mom walks in the door by the time she walks in the door no tears in my eyes i'm just acting like everything's all normal like hey how's your day work <laughs> I was like, I am not telling her right now. And when I tell you though, my mom is my best friend. Like we have a good relationship as well. So deep down wanted to tell her so freaking bad, show her the um, pregnancy test and everything. But I was just so scared. Like it's one of those things you have to experience um having your first child like you can't even judge the whole situation you just gotta experience it for yourself honestly i'm just combing my hair through so that way i make sure i get product on every piece of strand of hair Why is my mom over here listening to me tell this story? I got tears in my eyes. <laughs> <The price. laughs> she listening to the story like she got a box of popcorn <laughs> in the background. She's like, you gotta finish the story. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Me retelling the story, I'm literally about to cry, but I'm happy. I'm at a super happy place in my life right now. Um... I don't know. God could not bless me um, any more than he already has with just the support I've been getting. Um, just everything. Like, I feel so blessed, so happy because everyone in my life is like supportive. And that's what matters the most. That's what that's what females really need when they're when they're pregnant like they need support they need love they need someone to pretty much let them know like it's okay i'm here for you we're gonna go through this together and my family is just that like my family is amazing um but yeah so my mom comes in and I didn't end up telling her until a while later, like months later. So um, remember I was telling you guys, my sister was doing my hair and braids because I was leaving for a job, a traveling job, um, where I was gonna be an office assistant or whatever. So after she did my hair, I think I left and got on a flight that Sunday. Um, and 
I was in Dallas, Texas, and I live in North Carolina, by the way. Um, but I went to Dallas, Texas. The job was a contract job, so it only lasted like two months. And I was back by July 20th. Um, but it was fun. I went from Dallas, Texas, and then I had to go to another location. Um, I went to Atlanta. Half of my head done. Still gotta do this side. Being pregnant, it's no joke. And everything is going to be okay. Like, that's the main thing. Everything is going to be okay. When I come home from my job over the summer, I literally, um, whew, So, when I came home, the whole time I am away at this job, I'm like, okay, you need to tell your mother. You need to tell your stepdaddy. You need to tell your real daddy. Like, you need to tell people what's going on. I wanted to wait until I was pretty much out of the miscarriage stage. So, we did have a break during work. Um, I came back July 4th, at the beginning of July 4th, I came back, I had like a little, I don't remember if it was two weeks or one week, but I had a little um, vacation before I had to fly back I out. flew to Atlanta. So during that time, I was like, okay, I'm going to tell them then. I pumped out because I, like I said, I wanted to also go to my doctor's appointment. I had set one up for me to go to when I came back for break. And I wanted to make sure it was confirmed. Like, okay, yes, you're pregnant. How far along are you? And what's going on? By the time I literally went to the doctor, I was 14 weeks when I went to the doctor. And she was like, girl, like, you were supposed, you are behind. Like, you were supposed to have came in a while ago, pretty much. Like, but it's all good. We're going to catch you up um, and everything's going to be fine. And so I, like I said, went to the doctor, got it confirmed. And then um, I was like, girl, you still gotta, you gotta tell everybody what's going on. So I decided, I knew I wanted to do a, a big gift. I knew that's what I wanted to do because that's the type of person I am. When I do anything, I have to go all out. So I was like, okay. I'm going to get this teddy bear and on the teddy bear, I'm going to put a little onesie on it that says like um, something about grandparents. And then I'm going to get this card that's something about like, congratulations, you're a grandparent. And then I want to do a pacifier and then like all this stuff. And I knew I wanted to do a picture frame, put my little ultrasound picture in it and be like, the greatest parents are promoted to grandparents because um, they really are the greatest parents. I still was going to do the plan. Um, I just wanted to wait until I actually came back and I was done with the job. So when I came back on July 20th, that's when I left the job and I came and got a flight, came back to North Carolina. And I was like, I got to get this gift together and I got to tell them. So I had the gift together. I was not prepared to tell them. It was in my car for like weeks. I came here for Sunday dinner. And because we have a tradition, we always come to my parents' house for Sunday dinner. So I came to my parents' house for Sunday dinner. And I was like, I was like, I got something for y'all. So I was like, girl, man up. You're going to tell them today. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. As you can see, first of all, I'm just rubbing the excess all over my hair. When I tell y'all this is going to be like such a great, I don't know if y'all can see, but my hair is like, I wish y'all could feel it. It's so soft already. When I'm done washing it and everything, it's going to be so soft. So this is the front. This is the back. I'm going to wrap this up and put the trash bag on. Thank you.
get you a bag. You want to put it over your head, like so. Tuck all your hair in. And then you want to rip this down the middle as much as you can. Just try to rip it in two. Like so. So that way you can have longer things to tie it. So pull all the hair up. Make sure it's inside the bag. All the way around. Like so. All right, and then we're just going to tie it in the front really tight, really secure. Booyah! <laughs> so, we're going to keep this on for like 30 minutes. Back to the story. So, pretty much, um, I went outside to go get the present because I was like, hey, you know... I got something for y'all. Like I was literally going home. I had eight already and it was time for me to go home. And I was like, before I go home, I have something to tell y'all. And my sister's FaceTiming me right now. I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm back. So let me finish this story. Uh, while I was outside, it's nighttime. So if you know me, I don't do the darkness, okay? If I'm out there more than 20 seconds, it's an issue. So, <laughs> while I'm outside and I go get the present, I FaceTime my sister and I'm like, because I'm like panicking. I'm like, I cannot tell them. Like, I changed my mind. I'm going to wait till a later time. I really, the biggest thing for me is I wanted my sister to actually physically be there as like, support when I did tell this uh tell them so she was still working and out of town so she couldn't so I had to do it myself and I just facetimed her and I was like I can't do it I'm on the porch with the present y'all they're sitting at the kitchen table and you could see like outside the door from the kitchen table and I'm just like, I can't do this. I can't do this. She's like, go in there with the present. Stop being scared. Like, just go in there and tell them. I opened the door and I was just like, here's the present. Now, let me tell you, <laughs> this is what gave it away. The bag, it says something like, hello, baby, or something. It was like blue. Um, and my stepdad already knew. Like, he already knew. It ruined the whole surprise. It's like, you're pregnant? I'm like, read the card. Open the gift. And it was pretty much, I had gave them a card, a picture frame, and inside the picture frame, it had a picture of the ultrasound, I think when I was 14 weeks, um, from my doc first doctor's appointment. Um, so, I, yeah, I gave them that, and I immediately started crying. I don't know, I was just looking at my mom the whole time, and she was just opening the gift. And she was just looking at everything. And then I was just like nervous. Cause I'm like, what is she gonna say? So I just started crying. And then I didn't, I was like backing up towards the fridge. And she was like, Why are you crying? This is good. Like, be happy. I'm glad we're happy. We're having a grandbaby. Da 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 da. And I stuff that he gave me a hug. And like I said, I really needed that hug. Like it kind of made me cry more very much um confirmation that like everything is gonna be okay like i'm here to support you i love you and you don't have to worry about anything let me tell y'all about my mother because my mother is something else i told her do not tell nobody don't tell nobody because you know i want to tell my uncles I want to tell my aunties. I want to tell everybody on my own. She's so excited. She texting and telling everybody and then telling me she ain't told nobody. I was annoyed, but I couldn't blame her at the same time because she was excited.
weeks later, months later, 24 weeks. And this is what I am looking like. It's a little, a little man in here. What I'm gonna do is take this bag off. Y'all see that moisture, honey? Honey, honey. I'm gonna wash my hair and then I'll be back. Alrighty guys, so I'm back. Just wanted to give y'all another glimpse of pretty much what my hair is looking like after the treatment. It's been deep conditioned, it's been washed, it's been shampooed, um, and this is what it's looking like. I really wish you guys could like feel it because it is so, so soft. I have no product on it. This is literally me out the shower. I don't know if I'm too close or not close enough. But this is the back. What it's looking like. I'll show you guys the roots and everything. What that's looking like. This is how everything is pretty much sitting. Um so i hope you guys enjoyed my video today i'm gonna try to start posting more i'm sorry it's been eight months i think since my first video and i really do enjoy making videos or whatever so i'm gonna try to continue to make um some more videos i just be i don't even know what to record so if you guys could leave some comments, let me know what other videos you guys would like to see. If y'all like the story times, I could definitely start doing story times. I love you guys. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you share this video. And make sure you subscribe. <laughs> and comment down below. Um, Peace, love, and happiness. It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way.